Okay. So we are the Student Psychology Association. I know a lot of people joined in yesterday um, because of our tabling. So welcome, welcome. So just a little bit about us. Um, if you haven't checked out our Rowdy link, the purpose of the Student Psychology Association is basically to gather and present information regarding psychology related fields. Um, and we also provide networking opportunities for our members students, officers. Um, the way we do this is we schedule meetings, events, and socials, and we bring in guest speakers um, that know about the topic that we're presenting and just have that experience. So it's a great way to hear from an actual person what steps to take to reach that goal that you want. The reason why we do this is because as many of y'all know, UTSA doesn't really give a lot of information or resources to psych majors. Um, we have a lot of career events, but most of them are focused on STEM majors. So hopefully we can provide that information that you need. Okay. So. We're going to present our new faculty advisors first. So Dr. Scott. Hi everyone. I am Dr. Shelby Scott. I'm an assistant professor um, in the psychology department. And as you can see on the slide, um, I've been a professor here since January, 2020. Um, my research lab is called the Pride Family Studies Lab, and so most of my research focuses on diverse couples and families, um, mostly LGBTQ um, populations, but I also do some work on the intersection of with race and ethnicity. Um, so I am just really excited to be one of the faculty co-advisors with all of you and being a part of this great organization. So um, if you have any questions, uh, if there's anything I can do for you, feel free to reach out. Thanks for having me. Debbie, I think you are muted. Okay, Alexis, can you check the group chat really quickly? Because people are sending messages about um, them joining late. Can you just let them know that it's okay? And also, um, the sign-in closes at the 20 minute mark. So at 620, we will close the sign-ins. So make sure you sign in prior. If you do have technical difficulties, send me a screenshot right away so I can still um, mark you in. Okay, so next we have Dr. Monica Lawson. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Lawson. Um, I started very similar, a similar time frame as Dr. Scott just one semester before. Um, so I had one semester on the campus before COVID hit. Um, my research lab is called the Growth Lab, which stands for Growing Resilient Outcomes Within the Home. Very similar to Dr. Scott, I'm also interested in family dynamics and um, particularly how family interactions contribute to child cognitive and social development. And a lot of my research has implications for when children are involved in the legal system as witnesses or victims of crimes, and specifically when children are involved in abuse and neglect investigations or have been maltreated. Um, I'm super excited to get to work with you guys. Working with students is one of the best parts of my job. So I'm just really excited to get to co-advise with Dr. Scott and to get to work with you guys over the the, over the year. Okay, so I'm Debbie, by the way, I am the president for this semester. Um, I've actually been the president since December 2019. So I like started when the whole COVID started. Um, so it was kind of hectic for my first semester as president. Prior to that, I was the vice president for a semester and then treasurer for three semesters. So I really love SPA. Um, I've been here forever and I will be graduating this December. So I'm a little sad, but I'm excited. And Alexis will be your new president. Um, I am from Houston and I have five dogs. I love dogs, Shih Tzus and Pomeranians. 
And yeah, and my favorite animals are horses, so. Then we have our Vice President, Alexis Gutierrez. All right, so I'm Alexis and I'll be your Vice President this semester. Super excited. Um, I've been an active member since my freshman year, which was back in 2019. Um, and then I became Volunteer Coordinator 2, Volunteer Coordinator 1 the following semester, and then now I'm a VP. Um, so I've just loved being in the club ever since I got in it. And um, I'm really excited for what this semester is going to hold. Um, I graduate in the spring 2022. Um, my future plans just kind of going to graduate school. Not sure what for yet, but that's why I'm in the club to figure it out. And um, I just love listening to music, hanging out with my friends. And I just got a new puppy. Uh, her name is Pepper. She's a chihuahua. So she's been taking it most of my time. Uh, but yeah, don't pray, uh, be afraid to say, to, to, oh my gosh, hello to me at any events or volunteering or anything like that. So. Next, we have our treasurer, Fernando Pineda. Hey guys, my name is Fernando Pineda. I'm going to be the treasurer for fall 2021. I've been the treasurer, I've been the treasurer and a part of the Student Psychology Association in the past two years. Um, I actually got into SPA through Debbie. Uh, she's my wife. We've been married one year. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm actually a mechanical engineering major. So I just went to the meetings with her just to get out and I got really intrigued and it was really cool. And I eventually became an officer. And uh, yeah, um, it's really fun, really cool. I love the people here and I love meeting new people. And so uh, if you guys need anything, if you need help with anything, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out to me or any of the officers. Um, that's what we're here for. And um, yeah, it's a pleasure meeting y'all. <laughs> okay, so that's one of our puppies, by the way, that's Teeny. She's my favorite. Don't tell the other ones though. Okay, next we have our secretary, Mariah Moreno. Hi guys, sorry if I've been looking like off the screen, I mislabeled the sign in and sign out sheets. And so I sent out the sign out one first, but the recent uh, link that I sent out is the sign in. So I apologize, this is my first time using Google Forms. So to get in the hang of stuff. Um, so yes, I am the secretary and I promise <laughs> I'll be better prepared by our next meeting. <laughs> okay, so then we have our PR1, Emily Wood. Hey guys, my name is Emily. I am the public relations one this semester. Um, this is my second semester with SPA or my third semester with SPA, my second as an officer. Um, I'm super excited to do the semester with Ms. PA. Um, it's always been a lot of fun, and I'm super excited for volunteering this semester, actually. Our PR2, Logan Breen. Hey guys, I'm Logan. Um, I'm the second public relations officer. It's going to be my first semester as an officer of SBA. Um, I'm graduating spring 22. I'm a psych major and not sure what I'm going to do after that. Still figuring it out. Uh, scary, but that's what this club is here to help for. Um, I have two cats and I'm really looking forward to the events and socials this semester, especially chicken and pickle. It's in our in-person social. Come and see us. Okay, and then we have our volunteer coordinator one, Ethan Guerrero. Hey everyone, I'm Ethan, the volunteer coordinator. I've been in uh, student psychology. It's been a while. It's been since my sophomore year, spring, uh, but I've loved it, volunteering. I love that too. It's going to be in person and virtual this semester. I'm so excited. We got horses, volunteering opportunities. Hope y'all are hyped as I am. But uh, yeah, I'm so excited for this new semester. And catch us out at the Involvement Fair Wednesday. Okay, then we have our volunteer coordinator too, Megan Pish. Hey y'all, um, I'm Megan. I am a sophomore and this is my second semester with SPA. Um, I 
but my first as an officer, I am a kinesiology major because I want to go into occupational therapy, but um, I also really like psychology. And so I have to take a bunch of psychology classes for OT school. Um, and so that just kind of combines two of my favorite things and yeah. Then we have our social media coordinator, Stella Rojas. Hi guys, I'm Stella. I'm the social media coordinator coordinator one, sorry. Um, I've been with this club since 2018, but I really wasn't an officer until last semester. I was the public relations, but yeah, I switched. Um, anyways, I'm, a, I'm going to graduate in December. I'm a senior and I'm a psych major and I like psychology, so yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, then we have our second social media coordinator, Isaiah Margus. Hello, everyone. I'm Isaiah. This is my second semester with SPA, and this is also my fifth and final year at UTSA, um, double majoring in music ed and psychology. Um, and yeah, I also have a dachshund named Mocha. She's with me right now. <laughs> and then we have our advertising chair, Mariana Mendez. Hi everybody, I'm Mariana. Um, this is my third semester with SPA, but it's my first semester actually being an officer. Um, let's see, I kind of joined the organization at a really weird point where I was super insecure and like just really uncertain about what to do with my major. Um, and this, this, all these people, this club really helped me figure it out. So if you're kind of going through that, then this is definitely the right place for you. Okay, so um, it's 515. So again, if you haven't signed in, make sure you sign in. Um, since there's still people like barely joining, I guess we'll extend it, Mariah, until like the 530 mark. Um, hopefully that gives people sufficient time to sign in. Um, so make sure you sign in. Okay, so how do you become a member? So we do have requirements. Um, first off is you have to attend three out of six general meetings. We do have seven, but the seventh meeting never counts since it's the end of semester celebration. Um, so if you're here, that means you already got one meeting down if you sign in and out. So you'll have two more to go, but you can attend all seven. Then. If you can't attend due to school or work, we do offer alternative membership, um, but I will discuss that in a second. And you also have to attend two out of three events. So we have three virtual events this semester. We have our graduate school panel, we have tra traveling with psychology, and then we have professional development. We also have three socials. However, the socials are not required for membership. We do ask for dues. They have to be paid through Venmo or Cash App. So it's 15 for returning members. That means that last semester you completed your membership requirements. So it'll only be 15 and you must verify that with Fernando, our treasurer. And then it's $20 dues for new people. Um, if you are do having financial struggles, then contact me and I am very flexible. I'll work with you. We can figure something out, um, but make sure you contact me like right away and not at the last minute. Dues are due October 26, and then you have to complete 10 volunteer credits. So um, this semester, we're trying to do more in-person again. So we have some virtual volunteering and we have some in-person volunteering. So for virtual volunteering, it'll be one hour equals one credit. For in-person, it'll be double credit. So one hour equals two credits. Um, and I'll give more information about that in a second as well. You also have to, well, you don't have to follow us on social media, but it's good if you follow us on social media so you can see what we're posting, you can see reminders and just announcements. You do have to follow us or join us on Rowdy Link. On Rowdy Link, it's very important because this is how you request your volunteer credits. You also get the mass emails that we send out, the reminders and the recaps, and the reminders and recaps have all the information that we cover. So it's very important for you to join us on there. Also make sure to join us on our YouTube channel, which is Student Psychology Association at UTSA. Um, so that's where these, re these recordings get posted. That way you can backtrack and see what we discussed. If you came late, you can start over to see if you missed anything important or if you had to leave early or if you just couldn't make it at all. Um, that's how you get that information. Okay. <clears throat> 
So alternative membership. Um, so if you can't attend the meetings due to uh, school or work scheduling conflicts, send me a direct message with the proof of the scheduling conflict and I will get that approved for you. And what you have to do is attend two out of three events. So our events are on Thursdays at 5 p.m. virtual. And if you're still struggling to attend the events, um, it's a little difficult because I don't know what else to do at this point, but message me and I always try to find a way to work with y'all. So just talk to me and we'll see what we can do for you. Um, you do have to complete 15 volunteer credits and we do accept five outside credits. The way this works is if you volunteer with another organization, we need the president or the volunteer coordinator from that organization to send us a direct email through their email stating um, Mariana Mendez completed these amount of hours on this day at this location or whatever. Um, and from there, we'll say thank you to them and we'll send you a message stating that we got that request in and that they've been approved. And so you can do all that. Um, so that's how that will work. If you volunteer at the food bank, same thing, they'll give you a slip usually and you'll tell them to send us an email, um, but we'll discuss that later as well. So, and then the donations. So donations of $6 equals one credit. These donations go to court stoles or they go to um, donations to places that we volunteer at. So sometimes they ask us for sweaters, for clothing, for food, for toys, for necessities. That's where that money goes to, to purchase those items and donate them to the locations where we volunteer at. And then um, dues for alternative are $25. All requirements are due um, on November 9th. So that's gonna be our second to last meeting, I believe, yes. Okay. Um, and if you're ever wondering like what your progress is, how you're doing, just send me a message um, and I'll get back to you right away. I'm pretty good at answering right away. So I'll let you know where you're at, what do you need left? And then that way, if you are struggling to complete anything, um, we can discuss a way to get that going for you. Okay, so this is where you can find us. We do have a Twitter, we have an Instagram. YouTube, again, is very important. Um, we have a Facebook. Rowdy link is very important. And then we have our group me. So on our group me, we are very active. We post everything. We answer questions pertaining to the organization. So make sure you join us if you haven't already. Okay, so this is our QR code. Um, so for this group chat, it's the Student Psychology Association group chat. We're very strict with this one. We ask that you do not send anything non-SPA related. We do have other chats for y'all, which is the class professor recommendations, which I know a lot of people use. And then we have our social chat. So if you're ever wondering about what professor is good, what class is good, like what to take, that's where you would go. If you just want to talk about anything or advertise anything, you'd go to the social chat. Um, so let's keep the Student Psychology Association group chat strictly SPA. Okay, so volunteering. This is our virtual volunteering opportunities. Um, we have the letters of encouragement for the San Antonio State Hospital for the Children's Shelter as well. So one letter equals one credit. The way this will work is you'll send us proof of the letter that you wrote. It doesn't have to be a certain amount that you write. You can even draw something. It's just whatever comes from your heart. Um, all that we wanna see is that you're mailing out that letter and that's what will like count. So you'll just take a picture of the letters that you complete and send that to us and we'll confirm that. Um, for requests, you'll send it to me, Debbie, to Alexis, the VP, or to either of the volunteer coordinators, which is Ethan or Megan. Then we started um, using Seven Cups. It, the Seven Cups is like an online um, anonymous therapy application. Um, since it is online, sometimes people can be very um, um, inappropriate. So if you ever feel uncomfortable, just stop chatting with them. Like, you know, there, there's no, no way for them to track you. Just stop chatting with them, block them, move on to the next person. Um, they do give a 30 minute training for you to become an active listener. And what you do is basically just hear people out. 
see what they're struggling with, and you can talk to them. It's just a form of, you know, you communicating with someone, helping them out um, when they're having difficulties. They do um, categorize everything. So if you're only comfortable talking to people that are struggling with depression or anxiety, then you'll uh, filter those out and say that you only want to talk about that. Um, but there's like everything that you can imagine on there that people are struggling with. So it's up to you what you want to, who you want to help out. Um, now, if you want to accumulate a total hour for the credit, so if you have a 15 minute conversation here, another 15 minute conversation there, and then a 30 minute, you'll add that together and send it to us and we'll give you that credit. Um, we do ask for you to take screenshots of the timestamps but for the actual conversation, we do not want to see that. Just blur it out. That is private. Um, so just blur out any of the conversations that you have. Just make sure the timestamps are there from beginning to end. Okay, for love for the elderly, we didn't put a specific location. Um, love for the elderly is basically due to the pandemic. There's been a lot of um, older people that have been very alone and struggling and you know a lot of mental health problems because they don't have much of a support system because everything's been kind of like i guess isolated because of covid so what we're trying to do is give them some sort of encouragement some sort of happiness or just letting them know that they're not alone and we're there for them so that's what that is um so there's no specific location to send it to it's more of if you find a facility and you want to send it to, great, send it to them, to take a picture of the letter that you're mailing and we'll give you credit. Okay, you can also volunteer with the UTSA pantry. So the Roadrunner pantry, it's right by the UPS. Um, is it the UPS up yes. store? Mm -hmm. um, which is in the student union downstairs. Um, if you don't know where it's at, you can just look it up and it'll give you the directions but you have to donate six items, which equals one credit. Um, not Money is not accepted there, so it just has to be items. Okay. Um, and again, the SPA donations, six dollars equals one credit, um, and you have to label it correctly. So it's only through Venmo or Cash App, and you have to stay on the memo, um, your full name or your ABC123, and put donation to SPA. And again, we do accept five outside credits, um, but that needs to be sent to us through whatever organization or company you're volunteering with. Okay, so here's more detail about Seven Cups. This presentation is going to be sent out to everyone, so you can um, look through this on your own. Okay, so for the in-person volunteering, we have four uh, opportunities. So we have the saddle, saddle Light Center. So this is what Ethan was talking about with the horses. Um, we have one this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So since it's 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., it's three hours. But since it's in person, we're going to double it. So you'll request six hours. Um, so 10 and 15 might seem like a lot, but it's not really a lot. It, you can get those quickly. Okay. Um, by the way, don't forget to sign in. You only have three minutes left. Okay, so these are the dates for the Satellite Center. Um, then for Morgan Wonderland, we have two dates available. So we have October 16th and November 6th. Um, and this will be from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For the Special Olympics, um, we're still getting the exact events and dates settled. So as soon as we get those, we will announce them right away. Um, for tabling, so we're going to open it up to maybe one or two people per shift. Um, so we do tablings from, 1 from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, we'll send out sign-up sheets, and it's by shift, so by hour shifts. Um, and that's how we'll do that. We'll give more details later on, but these are the dates. So our next one is next week on September 7th, so I will be sending out a sign up sheet through the recap email. Um, if you are interested in tabling with us, that's what you'll do. Tabling is really, really easy. It's simple. Um, you just go with the officers because officers will be there at all times. And you just try to get people involved in the organization. Um, you'll just let them know. 
Let me. Okay. Um, okay, so those are the in-person volunteering. If you have questions about that, you can ask Megan, Ethan, Alexis, or I, and we'll answer those questions for you. Okay, so Rowdy Link. Um, this is where you'll officially request your credits. Apart from you sending us the proof of volunteering, you'll we'll say, hey, um, Ethan, thank you for requesting five credits. They have been approved. Please make sure to request them on RowdyLink within seven days. So it's very important that you remember you only have seven days to submit that request from date of volunteering. Okay, seven days. Uh, after that, they will no longer be accepted. Um, the reason for this is because people would submit their volunteering the day that they were due, and it was very hard for the volunteer coordinators and I to go through all of that. And we would stay up until like four in the morning trying to get that all complete. So now we're only giving you all seven days to request those credits. If you go on the PowerPoint um, later on, click on the YouTube walkthrough. And in this video, it's a little old. I did it like two semesters ago, I believe. Um, so yeah, just um, watch this and see the steps to how to request those. Okay, so tabling again, we have it on September 7th, September 20th and October 5th from 11 to 2 p.m. Um, those are for volunteering and will count as double credit. We are going to be at the involvement fair on Wednesday, September 1st from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, this will be at the Central Plaza and the Sombria. So do y'all know where the JPO food court is? It's right there, like where the fountain is. That's where we'll be. Okay. All right. So these are our meeting dates. Um, so today is the 31st. We are doing the intro, the welcome, office introductions. If we have time at the end, we're going to do a Kahoot game, which is just going to go basic over basic information for the org, just to make sure that you all um, got that information. And then we can see if anybody has any questions. Our next meeting will be September 14th, which is going to be stress management and coping with Dr. MC. Um, if you were here last semester, we had to cancel this one due to the snowstorm. We also have to cancel the graduate um, the graduate panel. So we're going to do those this semester. Then on September 28th, we're doing a new professor night. So new professors that joined during the pandemic time are going to come, present themselves, say a little bit about what they do and just get that conversation going with y'all. Um, since the pandemic, it's been hard to actually get to know your professors. So that's the point of this meeting or of that meeting. October 12th, we're going to look into psychiatry with Dr. Ogburn. On October 26th, we're going to have Dr. Scott come back and discuss her research lab. On this meeting, or on this date, we also have dues due and then the officer applications open. And we will announce what officer positions are available probably by um, October 12th. Okay, November 9th, we have the growth lab. So that's Dr. Lawson. She's going to present her lab. Um, on this date, we also have all membership requirements due and then the officer applications close. And to, be cons to apply for the officer positions, um, you don't need to complete the membership requirements yet. However, the officer or the, uh, Officer applications close and the membership requirements are due on the same day. So that is something that I will take into consideration when I go through that um, application process. We will do interviews and we'll let you know if we decide to move forward with you or not. If you are interested already and wanna get a little information on how all that works, it's never too early to start talking to me about that. So start talking to me if you are interested. Um, okay, in November 23rd, we are going to have our last meeting. Again, this November 23rd meeting does not count towards credit. Um, so only the first 
6-2. And then at that last meeting, we're going to have our end of semester celebration. We're going to present our graduates. Um, we're going to start sending out the certifications, the cords, the stoles, and we're going to show off our spring 2022 officers. Um, and these are our event dates. So our first event is going to be September 23rd. So that's coming up. It's going to be our graduate school panel. So it's gonna be a panel of four, um, two students and two professionals. And it's going to be followed by a Q&A at the end. <clears throat> we are going to officer, or we're going to offer one volunteer credit for submitting three to six questions. So it's important for you to submit your questions because these questions are going to be um, given to the panel. That way they can answer your questions and you can get the information that you want. So more information will be given out. As we get closer to that, I will send out the form so you can submit your questions and receive your credit. Okay, October 21st, we are going to have our Traveling with Psychology event. So for this one, we have invited um, psychologists that travel for work because we don't usually hear from them. And it's very different depending on where you travel, the way you have to, I guess, like do your counseling, your therapy or whatever it is that you do. Um, so it's very interesting to hear like what, what their um, field is. I haven't really heard much about that. So I'm very intrigued to learn a little bit more about it. Okay, November 4th is going to be our last event. And then for this one, we're going to do a professional development. So it's going to be how to write a CV, personal statement, resume, and build your LinkedIn profile. Um, again, you have to attend two out of three events for credit. And they will be Thursdays at 5 p.m. These will also be recorded. So again, if you don't feel comfortable, you may turn your screen off or your camera off. Okay, so our socials. So we have one virtual social and then two in-person socials. So our first social will be September 9th. It's going to be our virtual game night. This will be at 5 p.m. It's We're going to play Jackbox games, Kahoot games, Scriblo. Um, yeah, and that's going to be done by your committee two, which the leader of committee two is Alexis. Okay, then we have our October 7th. So this is going to be our in-person social. It's going to be at Chicken and Pickle. Um, I've never been there, but I heard that it's really fun because they have like courts and stuff. Um, so yeah, everybody's responsible of paying their own meals. So we're not covering that. Um, the social will be at 6.30. We will offer rides. So Logan and Alexis are going to offer rides. Only seven people will fit. And we are going to pick up at the convo by 6 p.m. If there's any of y'all members that are going to go and are wanting to offer rides, let me know so that we can see how many more people we can give rides to. Okay, and then November 15th through November 18th. So this is going to be a fun social. This is from my committee. So um, committee one, we're going to do a campus scavenger hunt. So the way this is going to work is we're going to send out a list of items that you need to complete daily. And um, as usual, 1159 is when like you can't do it anymore, you can't submit it anymore. And then on November 18th, we are going to post the list earlier. So by 8 a.m. and the cutoff time is 4 p.m. Um, we're going to be sending these lists through social media, through GroupMe, so just keep track of that. And you have to submit proof of each step, so you can post it on our IG, or you can post it on IG and tag us, you can post it on Twitter. Um, and then if you complete each list, so if you complete the whole list for day one, then you'll be entered into a raffle um, and, and so on. So you basically want to complete the list for all the days so you can have more chances of winning. Um, the raffle is going to consist of little prizes that we're going to put together. Okay. And we have merch. So if you went to our tabling yesterday, 
we had some merch set up and then we had our awesome officers showing off our merchandise. If you didn't see the tabling or you didn't go, you can find it on our Instagram. We posted it on our story and we're going to add it into a highlight so that you can check it out. Okay. Um, so these are our t-shirts. I'm not going to go into detail with this. So, but again, this is going to be sent out so you can just like review it on your own. Um, just make sure to follow the codes for the ordering. Um, I know someone, I know two people sent me direct messages regarding merchandise, um, but basically if you wanna order, just send me a direct message and with the codes and you'll have to pay through the Venmo or Cash App. And in the memo, you'll include your full name and the letter codes that you want. Um, and then I'll contact you and then discuss delivery address. <clears throat> so we have our double-sided masks. So this is one side, this is the other side. So they're really cool. And then this is Fernando, by the way. Okay, then we have <laughs> tumblers, water bottles, and coffee mugs. So coffee mugs and the water bottles are very limited now. We only, for the water bottles, we only have the black, white, and blue available. Um, but yeah, okay. So the tumblers are $15, water bottles are 15, and the coffee mugs are 20. And then these are the designs for them. These are the, how they look. So these are the codes that you're going to input if you buy anything. Same thing here. And same thing here. Okay, so we do have a back to school raffle basket. I put it together, I hope you like it. Um, so I started using the blue light glasses because I would get huge headaches from just staring at a screen. So I found these, um, yeah. So you'll get two blue light glasses, a mask. I found these really cute like self-care things. So if you like zoom in, it says, this one says gold digger, so. You're going to complete your goals. It says easy A. And then what does that one say? I forgot what the bottle said, but they're really cute. I thought they're cute. So, and then you'll get one of our t-shirts and then you'll get pencils, sticky notes and all that good stuff. So it's $5 per entry, unlimited entries. And the winner will be announced at our second meeting. Um, the way you'll do this is same thing. You'll just pay through the Venmo or Cash App. And in the memo, you'll include your full name and you'll put, um, raffle basket and I will send you a message just confirming. Okay, so these are our payment methods. This is where you'll also send your dues. So we have our Venmo, we have our cash app and either Fernando or I will message you confirming that you've made those payments. Um, yeah, and if you want a receipt, Fernando can write up receipts. Yep, uh, and this is an example of how you'll like submit it. So when placing an order, order whether it's one or multiple multiple items, you'll just put in the codes. If you're also paying for membership dues, just make sure you include it in the memo. So example, M, T, M, A3, new member dues means that you're ordering a mask, a t-shirt size medium, a tumbler with the light blue design, and you're paying for dues. This just makes our lives easier um, and makes sure that you get your correct orders or credits. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're only, we're not going to be like handing them off in person or doing pickups. This is going to be only shipping. So we will, will charge a shipping fee. If you don't want to charge shipping fee, then go to our tablings and you can buy your merchandise right then and there. Okay, so upcoming opportunities. So we have the Get Involved Fair on September 1st, again, this Wednesday. Um, you can come say hi if you just want to like introduce yourself this is where you can do that i won't be there um, but the other officers will and then we are going to volunteer at the satellite center um, this saturday from 10 a.m to 1 p.m again this is double credit i will send out these sign up sheets and everything um, in the recap email the recap email will be sent out by Friday morning. So we're, we'll try to send it out mm, as early as possible. Um, okay, and then coming up, we also have our game night, which is going to be next week, I believe. Is that correct? Next week, right? Which one? The September 9th. 
Yes. Yeah, September 9th, we have our virtual game night that was going to be presented by committee two. So Alexis's committee. And then our next meeting will be September 14th or September 24th. Um, nope, it's September 14th. Sorry, that's incorrect. September 14th at 5 p.m. on Zoom with Dr. MC. Okay, and then we have these cool little video ones. So I probably didn't show it. Okay. And that's it. So we have some time. Oh, okay. I just got dues. So I, for dues, if you pay them, give me a week and we'll get those like going right away, um, sending the receipts, confirmations and all of that. Okay, so Alexis, are you ready? The mm -hmm. Kahoot game is so that, like, it's a great way for you to get tested to see if you remember the information. Um, yeah, so we'll see if you remember. And then everything that we're like saying, we're going to post it everywhere. So we're going to post it on our writer link. We're going to post it on our social medias. We're going to post it on our YouTube channel. We're going to post it on our group chats. So, you know, if you're ever confused or you ever forget anything, refer to all of that. And if you still like aren't unsure, then you can message me and I'll try to answer you. But, but try to like check everything else first. Um, yeah, okay, so. Alexis, you want me do, you to share share your, yeah, do you want to share your screen? It says disabled. Oh, okay. Try. Um, can can someone can one of the officers send the um, QR code or the link for the group me in the chat because it's not working. They said. Or wait. Yeah. Sorry, hold on. Mm -hmm. I found a new laptop and now it's like giving me more time. Okay. It's saying I have to quit Zoom. So I'll be right back. Um, here, let me see if I can try and do it. Hmm. I did it yesterday. Oh, why is it not letting us? Um, dang it. I think it's because my like settings doesn't have like Zoom's permission to like share the screen. Does that make sense? Yeah. But... Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't do it through Zoom. We practice it like separately. Yeah. Hold on. Ah, dang it. Let me see if I can pull this. <laughs> okay. Darn. How do I do this? Oh, it's because it wants me to pay. So let me just let me just do it. Because this is a good way for because we did this last or last last semester or the semester that we did this like I got less questions um so I want to do this again because it showed me that people were getting the information um better do y'all have any questions while I set this up can we all show our pets at the same time I don't have my babies with me they're they're not here they're with my grandmother yeah, kittens. Oh, go bring them then. This pepper. <laughs> and, uh, so I don't know if you all saw the picture with Fernando of Teeny. She was actually the SPA mascot for a few semesters. Fun fact. That's cute. Yeah, we even have like officer pictures with her and everything. And I had a little SPA shirt for her, but she like tore it up. She didn't like it. So I have to make her a new one. We should do that for the next semesters, like make like dog merch. How cute would that be? It would be. Oh my gosh, kittens. Yeah. <laughs> They're mean. <laughs> This is Barry and this is Jelly. You can do a show and tell. <laughs> Here. Oh my gosh. I love your dog, Leslie. 
He's so cute. Okay, that's all I needed for today. Okay, I couldn't I couldn't figure it out, which sucks, but let me see. Oh, another cat. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, I think I did it. Hold on, let me see. Okay, ready? Um let's see if I can show it now. Yes. Okay. No. Oh, how do I exit out of this? Oh, there we go. Okay, can everybody see it? I don't know where my phone is. Alexis, is it working? I see it. Okay. Can you grab it? Um, no, you don't have to download the app. You can just go to the Kahoot website and you should just be able to play there without downloading the app. I probably shouldn't play though because I'll just like click them very slowly to see. Okay. okay. Is that everyone? Has everyone been able to join? Okay, there's more people still joining. Okay, I'm going to get started. Okay. Oh, because there was only 53 people. No? Oh, no. I think so. All right. <laughs> <You say. laughs> okay. Oh, we have more people. Okay, I'll let it go until everybody answers. So we have virtual and in-person volunteering. Yeah. So virtual volunteering is only one hour equals one credit while in-person is doubled. Mm -hmm. 
We have more people. <clears throat> Yeah, so we have seven meetings this semester. And then this is the next one. Yeah, so only three out of six meetings. So again, the seventh meeting doesn't count for credit, so you only need to attend three. Mm -hmm. So regular members need to attend or need to complete 10 volunteer credits while alternative need to complete 15 volunteer credits. I like to watch the number just like boop, 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 boop. <laughs> So we have three events, but both alternative and regular members need to complete two or will need to attend two. So make sure you join. And the I believe the link was sent through the chat. Mariah, can you quickly send the sign out? She I know people like might need She's to leave. Oh, okay. So this is a trick question. We Y'all do not have to attend any of the socials for membership requirements, uh, but you can attend them for fun. <laughs>
Yes, yeah, so seven days, you have seven days to request the credits. And then once the officer confirms, then they'll, you'll have another seven days to request them on ReadyLink. And this is the last one. I like the picture. I know. <laughs> it was a little hint. <laughs> so me and Alexis were your pres and VP. Okay, and that is it. Let's see who won. All right. So any questions? If you all do have questions later on, um, you can check everything. We'll be sending out a recap email with all this information. Hopefully by Thursday, we're going to try and send it out sooner this time. And then um, if you still have questions, you could just send me a message and yep, I'll get to you. If you go on Instagram, and you put on our um, like call or message, it's linked to my phone number and my email. So you can look, contact me that way. If you do like send a message, like a text message to my phone number, please like include like your name or who you are. So just say like, I'm Gabby from SPA. Um, and that way I'll respond. Cause then if I see like random like text, I'll be like, I don't know who you are. So just make sure like you always include who you are. Um, same goes for emails and stuff, just so that I know because like I have a lot going on also and I wanna make sure I know what's what. Okay, um, if no one else has any questions, I'm going to go ahead and end the meeting. Um, make sure you sign out. The sign out will be open until like 6.05. Um, if you are having difficulty signing out, message me right away and I can give you credit. So again, we're going to be at the involvement fair this Wednesday, and then we have our first volunteering this Saturday, and then our next meeting and social next week. So I hope to see you all there. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm.